Hey, so you bought your first condo, two bedroom, yes. with an income of three thousand dollars per month. Your income. Correct. How how did you manage to accomplish that? I couldn't. My parents helped me. So what was the down payment, right? Roughly. Down payment was about two hundred thousand. So your parents helped you with that too. That's right. And how much was your monthly mortgage? My monthly mortgage back then was about two thousand dollars because it was a zero point two percent interest rate. Wait, your interest rates was zero point two. That's right. Including the bank spread. That's right. Net interest rate. Net interest rate. How long were you paying zero point two percent interest for? About two years. So I assume you were on a floating rate. That's right. So what's your interest rate right now? Four point seven. So it went from zero point two percent to four point seven percent. It was a gradual increase, but yes. So what's your monthly <laughs> mortgage right now? Three thousand plus. And you were saying you bought your boat house two bedroom at eight hundred and seventy eight thousand. That's right. And right now, how much is it worth? One point one five. So are you aware from eight seventy eight thousand to one point one five million? If you factor in all the costs that you've incurred in between, you're still gonna lose roughly about five thousand dollars. Yeah, about. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. And you were also saying back then when you were considering to buy boat house. There was this condo called a treasure trove, and that was available to you as well. Available to me at seven hundred fifty thousand dollars at cost price. And how much is that uh, condo worth today? One point four million dollars. So you're saying you could have bought a treasure trove at a hundred twenty thousand dollar cheaper and sell for three hundred thousand dollars more. That's right. Why did you not make the decision to buy a treasure trove? Basically, there was a children's pool downstairs, and yeah. I think there's gonna be a noise issue, so I didn't mm. go ahead with the purchase. If you could turn back time with the knowledge that you have right now. Would you have accepted the potential noise from the children's pool? Yes, I would have. So, what is one advice you have for people who are in similar situation as you, right? Like they are looking to buy a property, they have some sort of like budget constraint due to circumstances, they need to move in almost immediately. I think when it comes to a purchase, when you're comparing between a unit where there's a emotional purchase and something that has capital appreciation, always go for something that has capital appreciation、mm. because at the end of three to five years, you can definitely cash out on this property and move on to something that you actually like with that profits that you get. Wow, that was some really good advice. Stay tuned to part two because she is. Selling her property.